Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I will show you how to design BCD counter using JK flip flops. As usual for this simulation we will use the simul IDE tool which is available on the internet for free. So open the simul IDE. Now as you can see the design we have already implemented in the simul IDE. We have used the JK flip flops that you will find under the logics tab and under the memory. As far as the input is concerned, we will make use of fixed voltage for providing the supply as well as for the clock. Now remember, if we can use the clock source under the sources as a clock input, but to provide the rising and falling edges manually at our will, instead of using clock source, I have used the fixed voltage. Now for observing the output of each flip flop, we have connected the probes. So it will show you whether the flip flop carries logic zero or logic high. And all the flip flops are connected in such a way that the output of first flip flop drives the clock input of the next one. Okay. Now, basically this is an BCD counter, so it will count the numbers from 0 to 9, so it has only 10 states through which it goes through, so starting from 0, 0, 0, 0, so this is the most significant bit D3, while D0 is the least significant bit, it will start counting from 0, 0, 0, 0 and it will go up to 1, 0, 0, 1 and if you apply one more clock pulse to your design then momentarily it will enter into a next stage 1, 0, 1, 0 but remember because of this the NAND gates which we have connected at the outputs of D3 and D1 flip flops will generate a 0 on its output which we have used for resetting all these four flip flops so remember 1001 is the last count and if you apply one more clock pulse the circuit will reset and it will start counting from 0000, 0, 0, 0 again okay so let's start with the simulation now just reset it okay and now we have no clock applied at the clock at the input now with the application of the first rising age you can see d0 is now 1 next 1 0 then we have 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 then we have 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 so we up till now we have counted 10 input clocks and now if i apply one more clock pulse the circuit will reset because this one at the output of the last flip-flop that is d3 and the output of d1 which also becomes one will trigger this NAND gate and it will generate a zero at its output which is connected to the reset inputs of all the flip-flops and being an active low reset this zero input at this reset pin will reset these flip-flops and thus your entire circuit that is BCD counter goes to 0 0 0 and the counting begins from 0 0 0 0 again okay so this is how we can design bcd counter using jk flip flop and we can simulate it using the simul ide too. thank you for watching the video please subscribe like and feel free to share it with your friends thank you